Tonight, the mystery is deepening over a reported poisoning at a Colorado Taco Bell. Yeah, you may remember this incident from this past January. Tonight, CBS4 investigator Brian Moss has obtained new police reports as well as body cam. And Brian, these videos are now raising questions about what did or did not happen. Yeah, clarity in this story is a little difficult to come by. You may remember this was back in Centennial six months ago. All happening at a Taco Bell restaurant. But these police reports and newly released body cam video only seem to generate more questions and more mystery. You guys are actually being shut down right now. It was the night of January 15th when Arapahoe County deputies descended on the Taco Bell. What else going? CBS News Colorado obtained sheriff's body cam video this week. Every single employee here is being detained and nobody is free to go. The police response came hours after this man, identified in police reports as Bruce Detlock, ordered a number two combination. It's got a three soft tacos and a freeze. I upgrade to a freeze. They don't have it. Restaurant workers said their drink machine was broken. The 63-year-old customer demanded free food in place of the drink. Employees initially refused, leading to a confrontation between Detloff, restaurant workers, and other customers. Sheriff's deputies were called. So I says, just give me a bean burrito in lieu of it. Deputies did not arrest anyone, and Detloff left with his food and with this statement. They're going to get a lawsuit, I guarantee you. Six hours after leaving the Taco Bell, Detloff said he ate a few bites of the restaurant food, became ill, and was hospitalized. In these newly released police reports, a poison control expert said each taco had a fatal amount of rat poison. A manager at the restaurant initially told CBS News Colorado they had no rat traps or rat poison. But when deputies looked inside the restaurant, they found empty rat traps and outside of the building. That's very, I mean, that is a rat trap. Isn't it? And then another. And there's another. One of the traps contained a large block of poison, according to the deputy. And there were marks on the poison, consistent with a person scraping off large chunks, not something an animal would create, wrote the investigators. Some of the poison found at Taco Bell appeared to match that found in one of the tacos, wrote deputies. It is probable that someone intentionally poisoned Bruce due to the earlier disturbance. Deputies also searched Detloff's home and reported finding two bags of rat poison, one bag factory sealed, and while the second was open, investigators said the poison appeared different than what was found in the tacos. I haven't done anything wrong. The Arapahoe County Sheriff ultimately closed the case, saying surveillance cameras in the restaurant cleared employees of any wrongdoing. So it was actual rat poison was put in the food, so it's these green balls right here, so we're looking for anything like that. Detloff has never responded to our messages, calls, and emails. These reports also show that Arapahoe County investigators went to two stores near Detloff's home looking for evidence that the man may have used a credit card to buy rat poison. But they say neither store had any such records. Taco Bell has fully cooperated with the investigation, but to this day, mm -hmm. still unknown mm. how rat poison ended up in this man's food. And perhaps we may never know. We may never know. All right, Brian, thank you.